wasn't long ago that AI was only producing memes and nightmares, but now we have a new tool from Artlist that will take your prompt and generate usable footage in a variety of different styles. I'm also gonna talk about some of the limitations I've found with the service so far and some of the workarounds I found. I made these next clips myself with Artlist's new AI image and video tools in just a few minutes. Artlist is the subscription service that I already use for music, stock footage, and sound effects, and other tools like LUTs and plugins for my editor. If you have the Artlist Max plan like I do, you can start playing with these AI video tools immediately. You already have access to it, and your account is already loaded with credits. Credits are the system they've chosen to use for distributing compute resources to all their users. The Artlist Max plan, if you haven't upgraded it, starts with 5,000 credits every month. It's not a lot, but it's enough to give the AI video system a test or for exploring ideas once in a while. To use their AI video system, you first need to generate an image. There are several different predefined image styles available. Each of these styles require between 10 and 120 credits to generate. I assume based on the complexity of that style. I usually generate two images at a time, costing double the credits, but it's a lot easier to refine your future queries if you have more than one example to look at in regards to how the AI is interpreting your query. You can generate up to three images per query. There's also a really helpful enhance button that will run your currently typed query through AI to improve it to give you a better chance of getting a more usable result in your given format. Once you have an image you like, you can then click animate or upscale. Upscale boosts the image resolution by two times and animate will turn that image into a video directed by your next prompt. When you click animate, it will analyze your image with AI, and then they will suggest a prompt to use for that image to generate an interesting video result. You can modify the prompt they give you, or you can type your own prompt completely, but you are limited to 350 words. Then you pick your duration and resolution. The lowest settings are five seconds at 720p, and that will cost you 500 credits per animation. Increasing the duration to 10 seconds will double the cost and increasing the resolution to 1080p will double the cost again. So a 10 second 1080p clip will cost you 2000 credits. I find myself sticking to 720p and five seconds because it's long enough and it's plenty of resolution for any of the ideas that I've wanted to try because I would rather have more iterations of my ideas than only a couple of higher quality ones. I tried pulling up ChatGPT's video generator just to compare Artlist's paid service to the most widely known free one. Well, ChatGPT just basically linked me to another third-party service that I had to then register with. And then instead of generating a specific clip in a particular style, it generated like this whole AI YouTube short about the topic I was trying to generate. There is a paid option for this service, but I decided not to pay for it based off the demo. It feels like an entirely different kind of service. I think it's really useful for creators to be able to have the ability to just type in some words of what they see in their mind and then quickly get like a visual representation of that and then also be able to animate that. So Artlist's AI video tools can be used as a creative storytelling tool for your videos or just to create placeholder shots or storyboards or to just help you visualize an idea. Actually, one of the things I want to suggest for Artlist in the future is that I would love to have the ability to upload my own image and then modify that image with the styles available on their tool and then also animate my uploaded or modified images. I think that would be really useful because as it stands now, you can only animate images you've generated with Artlist's AI image generator tool in the first place. So it's great at coming up with new concepts in their available styles, but it's currently impossible to work with pre-existing images and specific actors. On that note, I didn't actually have any issues recreating Woody from Toy Story, but I don't have the rights to Toy Story and Disney might try to sue me if I started making Toy Story videos. But the really cool thing about this experiment is that I was actually able to generate a clip of Woody with this service because when I tried that same thing with ChatGPT, it just told me I was straight up not allowed to. So if you actually do have the rights to a really well-known property or character and you wanted to use Artlist's service to experiment with generating AI assets for it, you could try and do that and it wouldn't be impossible. But realistically, I would only recommend this service be used as another creative storytelling tool. Getting things like specific products for brands or specific people isn't something the service can really handle just yet. Artlist does have a couple tips for getting the most out of their service because they did generate their own commercial with this AI tool, but all of the shots used in that commercial were then also manipulated in some way by one of their video editors, be it a simple crop or more advanced visual effects, like stuff a video editor might normally do. If you wanted to use their AI tool for projects like that, 
They recommend starting with at least a script to follow because you can quickly waste a lot of credits trying to come up with ideas, and then you wouldn't have enough credits to finish your project. One of the biggest limitations is trying to generate multiple different images of the same universe. So if you come up with a prompt you really like and you generate an image you're really happy with, getting multiple different viewpoints or scenes from within that image or that universe can be really challenging. Like there will always be something just different about different iterations of those images. So one way I found to get images from within the same generated universe is animate that image to start with sort of a slow pan out, but then transition to a close up or a different viewpoint within that animation. For example, I was able to create a few animations where it would start at one place and then do a quick zoom in to an actor somewhere else in the scene. So it does kind of generate within the same universe. I did it a couple different times and the resulting actor that I got was different from the zoom in, but I mean, either of them would work. Obviously the technology is still evolving and this is still kind of in beta, but I'm excited to see where it goes. It's a fun service to use and there are packages available with your Artlist subscription for up to 120,000 credits a month for 35 bucks. And you can get two free months added to your subscription to Artlist if you use my affiliate link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching, peace.